If you're thinking, now is the time for me to break my love affair with cheese, you're making a good decision. But to really do that, let me encourage you to break this into a few steps. Step one, it's important to know why you want to break away. Because if you're not sure about how many calories it has or how harmful it can be from your health, well, you might not want to change. But it's easy to understand the basics. If you know that cheese is high in calories, it makes people heavy, it makes their skin not look so good, it raises their cholesterol level, it has a lot of problems that makes you want to resolve to change. So that's step one. Step two, think about what you can do to change the recipes you have already. So if I am making a pizza and I leave the cheese off, what can I have in its place? Extra sauce, extra vegetables, some nice caramelized onions and olives and spinach, mushrooms, many different things. Those will be great toppings. And you can do this with just about any recipe. So step three, think about the non-dairy cheeses. You'll see more and more non-dairy products on the shelves. Of course, with milk, you have soya milk and other kinds of milk that you can have. And there are now vegan cheeses that you can try. You don't need them, but see what you think. Give them a try. And what you'll discover is that little by little by little, cheese starts leaving you alone, you, you forget that love affair that you had, and as time goes on, you'll lose weight, your energy will be better, your skin will start to glow, and your friends will notice the difference. So, good luck in breaking away from your cheese addiction.